to another Webby tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be building an e-commerce website with Webby. So if you are new to the platform, you will be required to register or log in to your account. So because I already have um, an account with Webby, I am required to log in. But if you are a newbie to Webby, all you need to do is to click on the sign up button. I am going to put a link in the description for you so you could sign up with Webby. So now, it asks you to sign up. So you could either you could choose to sign up with your email, or you could just fill the information and then boom. And another thing you could do, you could actually go back to the login page and just log in with your Gmail account, and they will take all your information from your Gmail. So that's that for that. So once you log in, you'll be taken to this page. Sorry about this. Be taken to this page where you'll be required to choose the kind of website you're going to be creating so since we are currently working on an e-commerce website we're going to choose the online store i need a website with an online store so we're going to click on it so now it will say it require you to choose a name for your store say so let's start with the name of your store you can change this later so let's call this um, link code. Link code. So let's continue. Are you currently selling any items? You can update this answer later. You could either choose yes, or choose no, I'm not selling. I'm just trying out with it. So you just choose, um, since we are trying out with it, just click on just trying out with it. So say, what type of item will you be selling online? let's assume we are doing um professional services or mainly clothing let's do clothing and shoe click on it i'm going to what is your store address so what's your store address so it is important for shipping and tax purposes so you just give it um any address you choose so for me as since i'm simply doing the tutorial i'll just give it what is written at the bracket i want to tell okay let's just pick one of these then this you could choose whatever you want for your suit i really don't care about that so say perfect we are customizing your your settings for you so got it so now you could design your website so on the dashboard here these are what you have number one you could start designing your website which you could do number two you could add an item which you want to sell number two you could set up custom domain that's if you want to you can click on it to check it out number four you could connect your payment gateway then number five you could set up your shipping rates then number six you could collect your taxi then number seven you could publish your website so here's where you could see the number of sales you made here's your page view here's your unique visit so for that now let's go first design our website so let's design our website so you allow the web editor to load so you choose a team that's suitable for your brand i think i like this or this these are beautiful team but we have to stick with one since we are moving the cloth clothing brand let's take this so here it is summer collection so now let's start customization so we can begin customization by changing what are written on it so you just need to just click on start editing then you could choose a domain name for your website so let's call it something like um, link code let's search and see if that's available so link code.vb so you could choose this one for you or you could choose any of the custom domain name let's, let's come back on. so 
so global linko.org is available linko.org is available Lico studio is available you can see more domain names that are available using the name link code so um that being said let's add a, another d to it and then search for this tutorial we are going to use a free domain name so since this is available let's choose it so I'll click on done and so now let's customize the website to suit our needs and meet our qualification now we could start our collection our editing editing website brand new summer collection shop now so we could add something to this like um link code link code brand new summer collection shop now then this place this the button here i guess it has already been linked to okay it was linked to our phone number you could change it or link it directly to this shop so how you do that is to click on this um, the link website URL, then the link that link to the shop which will copy later. So you go ahead open the new tab. So now let's open the new tab so we can copy the link. Oh, sorry, I'm still on the detail. So when we are done publishing it, we could copy the link from that place and then paste it within here so that when they click on shop, now they'll be there redirected to our shop. So the next thing you need to do is to change some of these settings. Do something like link code brand let's add more space to it we got new trail for the year uh, or test that for men and women okay it's okay i think this image are cool but this image i think they need to be linked to our shop also so when we create a category, we link this image, both image to our various category. We link this part to the main category where we have shopping things for the main, like main shoes, main bag, main clothing. Why this other part will link it directly to the female where we have where we have female shoes, female bag, female wears and so on. So it's also the bag, the sweaters and so on. So that you could also change this part, which are find your inner style. So let's edit this. Let's we have got brand that's check us out. So once you are done, you can simply really link this part to the. Also, before I forget, you could actually um, customize this dress if you feel like changing any of them. But they look cool, and so we're gonna leave them. So I'm gonna also change this inner style to something like our brand. So I guess this is okay. This let's change this to some So it says find your favorite. We've got branding that suits your desire. Check us out. So then also this C collection, I'm gonna link it to our shop once we are almost done. So I guess so far the website is okay. So now let's visit our shop. Now, so you know whatever products you add on the product page and your um, Weebly dashboard, it will be displayed on this point. So. You could change the image here, you could replace the image, you could edit the image, you could use the light bulbs and whatever you have there. Then the about. Now you could write what your business is about. So just say something like.
as one you can just complete it and then your contact us page get in touch you could fix your domain you could fix your email Already drop and drop. So um, here's a contact form. You could actually drag and drop a contact form underneath it. for now you can just click maybe later so I guess this is okay for now now your shop you could also do more on your shop by adding some gallery so you go add a gallery of all your products you go add a social icon okay let's add a social icon to the top for our website and see if it looks good No, it doesn't it doesn't look good here so let's remove it and then i think we could put it on the footer put on the footer other things you can do is to add categories and products so i guess this product is mandatory so let's add product to our website so you could add products now when you add product on your dashboard it's going to display here so when you display here you can then add it to your will be website so simply because we don't have a product let's just put something like that she'll give it a price two thousand dollars two hundred dollars this price and fifty then you could write what the shoe is about just continue writing then you could select an image so let me just select an image if you have not subscribed to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video if you find this video interesting but create videos that suit your desire so now this is one of our products so you can edit it and change whatever you want but so far it's okay i'll go back to your shop So that's why this place is empty and then you go add some more to it. Similarly, that's how you create every other thing on the website. So if you want to convert it to an app, you could do it here. If you want to change the team, if you want to add pages, you could do them up here. So now let's publish and view on our website how it looks like. Let's just prefer this and let's view our website. Let's see how it looks like. So, here's what we just designed. So, now you can visit the shop page. Now, you can copy the link, go back to your dashboard.
the moment and whatever problem you're having with the plant work please don't forget to like the video like the video so that youtube can share the video to other people so this is very cool right some other things so i have other tutorials on web design that could suit you so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and be part of our premium subscriber thanks for watching this tutorial have a nice day guys bye